let's see. Looks like everything's working. I believe it is. Okay. Six. Can't I can't see. All right. Uh It's a day 100 update. There is uh, a lot of things that are happening. Um, quit smoking is the one thing, and I've been doing that. Then there was giving up the Cokes. There was moving around more to uh, lose a little weight, get in a little better shape, to feel better, which is the whole, you know, really the point of quitting smoking. problem moving around more doing more um, hurts a lot I take medication for pain I'm, I'm on pain management have been for 20 plus years government got involved my pills got cut down so I've had to slow that down Everything didn't work out right, so now I'm running super, super short. So, unfortunately, for the last four months or so, I've, I've had uh, um, you know, oh, things is going on. Uh, I can't move around like I want to. Because of the uh, pain meds being low. Um, my, I'm, I'm running out of Cokes. So I've been giving those up for the last four days, whether I want to or not. Because uh, when you go to the grocery store nowadays, it takes so damn much money. You have to really pick and choose the shit you buy. You all know this. So, at this point, I'm I'm still not smoking. I'm not having Cokes. And I'm not having pain meds. And I'm still eating like a madman. I'm so big right now. I cannot quell this eating thing. I'm conscious of me eating, and it's, I'm watching it, I'm, 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 I'm doing it, um, I'm paying attention to it, and yet I can't stop, um, I, I haven't had any suckers, still got a bunch of suckers in the freezer, and over there on the counter, uh, I went through about half of that bag of jawbreakers, trying to stay away from so much. I got a big bag of uh, Starburst because I really like those. Unfortunately, I really like those. <laughs> so I've got to stop getting the damn Starburst. Uh, the suckers, the Starbucks, the candies, the candies killing me. The candies killing me. Hey, Kimmy. Um, I'm I'm not eating any. It doesn't seem like I'm eating any more uh, food than normal. I mean, my plate size is always the same. I think I've actually cut down a little bit, but yet I'm still getting bigger. So. I came up with what I, what was not a good idea. It was in no way, shape, or form a good idea, but it was an idea. At this rate, I would be healthier going back to smoking. Okay, so a couple of days ago, I took a draw off a cigarette. Let's see if this is possible. I mean, this sucks, but. Uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do for your health here. 
and that's not possible. That's just absolutely not possible. Um, I took that draw off, and I swear to God, it was like I licked a dirty ashtray. I couldn't get that off my tongue. It, I didn't dry heave. I, I kept the I kept the the heaving down, but oh, it was just it tasted just like I licked a dirty ashtray and couldn't get it off my tongue. It was uh, it was it was horrible. It was fucking horrible, man. I thought, yeah, my lung. I felt the outline of my lung. Yeah, this is this is not even a possibility now. Smoking things done. That is definitely done. I'm not going to be smoking again because that was that was my plan. That was my idea. Okay, if I have to go back to smoking to get this other shit back under control, then I'll do that. And we'll start this journey again later when I get some of this other stuff under control. And that right there just told me, yeah, that ain't going to happen. Uh whether I like it or not, <laughs> I am done with smoking. Yeah, your throat. Oh yeah, yeah. I I, I thought that would be a problem. It, I felt it in my throat, but not real bad. I, I I didn't notice it because, like I said, I felt the outline of my lungs. With, when I took that draw, and it was like, oh, wow, that's, I feel the shape of my lungs, both of them. And I could tell how much more lung I felt than before. And uh, then I went, and that was it. I thought, oh, it tastes just like I licked a dirty ashtray. And I was swallowing and swallowing, and I just couldn't get it off my tongue. I said, yeah, this ain't going to work. Screw this. This is nasty. <laughs> so, as far as the smoking goes, 100%, absolutely. That was a definite defining moment of I'm done smoking. Because I was hoping to go back to smoking. <laughs> uh, I ran out of ideas on I've ran out of ideas on what to do with my current problems. And I've definitely got to come up with something here because I am huge. I can barely move. Everything is hurting worse because of this massive extra size I'm carrying now. Uh, I kid you not. Look at this. I am huge. It is uh it is not good. It is really not good. Uh this is a big old recliner and all right, you look at your uh you look at your legs. Me laid back in a recliner. And my belly still goes halfway down my thighs. So if I was straight up and down, it'd probably be damn near. My belly'd be damn near to my knees. Walks, yes. I was starting to move around more, Kimmy. That was the thing. Once I got the smoking under control, I started going outside. I started, uh, you know, I had slow drainage in my drain pipes for about six months. I went out there and I dug those up and I cleaned them out and I put them back and I was I was I was starting to uh, get more into the mowing part of it instead of just paying Jimmy to do it. I started mowing a little bit more, not every time and not a lot. I mean, I was going in slow. Um, I started doing more, but then the pain pills became the problem because as I started doing more. Everything hurt more. That he taken uh, my pain pills. Now I've always taken those uh, less than what I was supposed to, right? That's why I always, for years, always had a little extra that I kept back as a stash for those days, you know. Because some days you go out there and you twist a muscle or something, and well, you know, next four or five days you, you're just kind of laying in the bed taking extra pain pills to cover your screw up there. And uh, 
and the government did their thing and I my pills got cut cut down and then they screwed up my damn doctor appointment and without going up there which is a 125 mile round trip you know cuz they can't call those in you have to actually go up there and get them and that that so I didn't have an appointment for two months, so all though all those extras that I'd been building up for those bad days took me six years to build up a bottle and a half or one whole script and a half. Those were gone then. I, I it took it took me two months to get a damn appointment, uh, and I I ended up using them all during that time. So now I, it, it took se it took six years to build those up. I um, so I've got no I'm I'm giving <laughs> apparently I'm giving up pills or mostly giving up pills. I used to take four a day, four ten milligrams. They cut me down to three ten milligrams. I don't take what I'm supposed to take. I take what I need. I take just what I need. Which is usually two. That's what I set myself. I two pain pills. I break them up into compartments. Two pain pills a day. That's what I set myself at. If I need less, awesome. I mean that ain't the case. I always eat the two. But if I need more, I, I take more. Uh, I set myself at two. Because I'm 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 almost out. I am having to uh, take the next few days because my next appointment ain't till the fifth. So I'm having to take uh, you know this pat this last week here at one pill per day or a half a pill per day to get to the day where I go. Um, so I'm I'm I'm. I'm fighting that addiction right now. And I'm fighting the Coke addiction right now because I ain't got the money to go buy another damn 12-pack of Coke. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it will. You you will build up a tolerance. You absolutely will build up a tolerance. I built that tolerance up. It's like I tell everybody for years. My two pills a day first pill of the day just feeds the addiction it does nothing for the pain it's just for the addiction it's the other pill that fights the pain the first one is addiction only that's all it's doing is feeding the addiction so i can get past that part to deal with the pain um and now i can't even get past that part i'm fighting the damn addiction right now as well have been for days on top of fighting the out of coke, so the sugar and caffeine addiction as well, all at once, on top of all this extra hurt from digging up pipes and shit, there's a lot going on. Uh, the hurt from all this weight. Weight's what's killing me. Oh my God, if I could just figure out how to deal with this damn weight. If I can figure out how to deal with the eating part, Weight will start fixing itself. Eating part. It, 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 it's like it's like it's like I'm starving. I'm absolutely starving. I can eat. I can eat a whole meal. And ten minutes later, I'm starving. I just can't get past it. Cannot get past it. Uh, if I if I suck suckers, it's fine. I have no problem. <laughs> Masturbation. <laughs> Yeah, well, that shit goes away with age. <laughs> uh, so there's where I'm at in my, my life at this moment with the smoking and everything. Uh, I, I I don't know what to do about the eating. Like I said, it's... 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 Thing. I... Because I'm getting so big, I'm hurting more. Everything's hurting more. Um, I've got to figure out how to do this. 
how to deal with this damn eating. All right. Well, that's day 100. Uh, it's not really about the smoking. It's about everything else. But smoking was part of it because I was willing to go back. And I can't. Uh, I, I'm sure I'm probably the only person in freaking history to go, oh, I can't go back to smoking. Poor me. <laughs> so there we go thanks for coming kimmy appreciate it man and i'll see you next time